Welcome to the Sign Writing Stream, where we show, teach, and demo all about Sutton Sign Writing. This episode, the Sutton Sign Writing Core, Part 3, Searching with FSW Query. As always, go ahead and join our open chat on Gitter. We'd love to hear your comments and questions. You can find the Sutton Sign Writing Core on NPM. If you scroll on down, you'll find some useful links. We're going to be looking at the source on GitHub and the documentation on github.io. For the source code, you'll want to go to the source directory, and for this, the FSW query folder. And this folder has all of our functions with uh, the function definition and the associated tests. For the documentation, we just care about the FSW query section. And you can see our regular expression object and our parse function, our compose function, and all the other ones and how to call them and what they return. Let's take a quick look at SignMaker 2017 and how we search there. Scroll down, find the, your country of interest, go ahead and open it up. Now in this top section here, we can use English if we want, we can search like hello, sorry, hello or world. But we can also use something called the FSW query string. Let me just type this in here. I'm going to search for all signs that have a context R. And you can see that we found 55 pages and all of these signs have our context R. But let's also search for the two hand shape. So we only have these many signs and all of these signs you can see you have the two hand shape and a contact star. If we want, we could also say I don't care about the fill of the rotation. And you can see that we still have the two hand shape, but now it is in different rotations and with different fills. We're going to be using this in Node today. So the first thing we need to do is we need to install it. We can install Sutton Sign Writing Core with npm install Sutton Sign Writing Core. Open up a terminal window, paste in our install statement. Think, think, think. It is installed. Let's start up Node. Now to use it in Node, back to the documentation, usage in Node. Const core equals require Sutton Sign Writing Core. Again, we can just paste that in. And now we have our core module. We're specifically interested in the core FSW query. And we can see all of our functions. All right, let's get a, a sign here and start playing around. steveslavinsky.me slash demo slash FSWHTML. I will take this first sign. If I double click on it, I can do a right click and copy. So our sign equals, and I can put that sign that I copied in there. All right, there we go. Now, back to the documentation. I'm going to be using the FSW to query function, and that is a function to convert an FSW string to a query string. It takes uh, several flags. You can search for the exact symbols in the temporal prefix, or general symbols in the temporal prefix. For the sign box, you can search for exact symbols or general symbols, and you can also search for location. So let's get that started, and we will say Q for A, and that is query string for exact symbols in the temporal prefix. So we go core fsw query dot fsw two query. I pass it my sign and I'll just pass the capital A. And there is my query string. Since I'm searching the pre temporal prefix, you can see that this first part of our query string matches exactly the first part of our FSW string. Now, if we did a lowercase a instead, we can see that it's not the same, but we have this UU. And this U means undefined, the first one for the fill, the second one for the rotation. All right, we can copy these query strings, and we can actually paste them into SignMaker if we want. 
paste. So what it did is it found two signs that match our query string. If we look at them, we can see that they do both indeed start with the same exact uh, hmm, sign spelling sequence or the temporal prefix. Let's take a look at our second one. And this is the for the temporal prefix with general symbols. And we have a new sign that appears. And this sign does not start with that same exact symbols in the temporal prefix, but you can see that that first symbol and that last one is actually rotated. And because we said we just want the general symbols, it was able to find it. We can also search the sign box. So let's use a lowercase s. And again, we see that UU, and we'll do a capital S. Capital S says search the sign box, the exact symbols. All right, let's search for just the general symbols and see how many signs we get. Pop that in, and we get a couple new ones. And you can see that the reason that this one didn't show up before is because it actually has a different prefix because we are looking all of these have that prefix, but this one, these last two change. So when I search the sign box, it finds it. And we can see that as well as the bottom. This one doesn't have any temporal prefix. So if we search the temporal prefix, we're not going to find this sign. But since we're searching the sign box itself, we do. Now we can also use the query string and transform it into a regular expression. So let's do that. All right, so query equals core FSW query dot FSW to query. Uh, I'm sorry, one more time. Let's just call core.fsw query. We want the regular expression. And let's give it the uh, our sign. No. QA. Because QA is this query string. This query string has this regular expression associated with it. Regular expressions, when they're returned, can be one and one or more. Let me copy this regular expression. All right, regex101.com, regular expression tester. We copy and paste our regular expression up top. We need some text that we can search. Go back to the FSW demo. We'll select all of our text. And when we paste that in here, we can see that it reports it found one match. That one matches this right here. And we can copy that sign. Now if we go back here, paste it in, you can see that is the sign that we were searching for and we did indeed find it. Now some query strings will return multiple regular expressions. So core.fswquery. Regex. Let's see. You know, a query string for S10E U S20500. And that is search for the two hand shape, any fill, any rotation, and the context are. And you can see that we get two regular expressions returned. Let's copy this first one. Now, when we go back to regular or the regex 101, we paste that in. It finds three matches. We have this first one here. Scroll down the second one and this third one. And you can see that we were looking for the index or the, the sorry the two hand shape, and that's this right here, the S10E. Um, with our second regular expression that was in here. that in. And this is going to find all the signs that have the contact star. And that's S20500. And 
There it is again. Now the results for our, our the, <laughs> the signs that match are going to have to match both of our regular expressions. And that's why we use a filter and repeat pattern where we search our text and it returns the text that match. And then we search that resulting matched text again. If you go to the documentation, you can use the FSW query results and the FSW query lines. And that has the built in filter and repeat patterns. So you don't have to worry about the regular expressions at all. You just pass the query string and the text that you want to analyze. All right, there's also another part, which is ranges. Let's talk about this. S10000 is the index. S10E00 is our two hand shape, but we want the one right before that. So we're gonna just go to D. Now let's say we wanted to find uh, symbols that were between both these ranges. What we can do is first divide it apart. We don't need the S in the front and we can take off the fill in the rotation. Same thing for here. So for a range, capital R, and then the first base, and then small t, and then the second base. We don't need the filler rotation because it's going to include them all. Prefix it with a Q to make a query string, and we can copy that and paste that right into SignMaker. And what this is going to do is it only returns 55 pages, and it only includes hand shapes that are the index or in that first group. And you can see a little bit better. Here we go. It matched this because this symbol is between those ranges. All right, but ranges are a little bit difficult and query strings can be a little bit difficult to write. So let's just use something called the click search. Click search is a way to build query strings using the symbol palette. Now, if we just do a one click, all of these are now clickable buttons. And when you click on them, it's going to say, okay, well, let's find all the symbols that are in here. And that will include all the symbols that are underneath the symbol saying it comes up with a range. So any symbol that's in this group and anyone that has the contact star. And you can see all of our signs, no matter how they are written, will include a hand shape. Here's right here that's in that first group and the contact star. We can also do a two click click search. And with that, we can click on the index and we want this right here. And it shows you the val uh, viable options. And I want this arrow and I just want the small one. And this is actually the sign I was looking for to dream. Clear it out. We can also do a three click search. Now this, I want this, I want this one, and I want this hand shape. And you can see that all of these signs have that exact hand shape that I selected. You can also do it for uh, that hand shape and the contact star. So I hope that gave you a, a good idea of what you can do with the FSW query. Check out the documentation. Uh, join us on Jitter, Gitter to ask some questions and give feedback, and hope that you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.